This is the 2024 Lexus NX350 F Sport. What's up everybody, welcome to the video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I'm back at Lexus of Route 10 in Whippany, New Jersey, and we're taking a close look at the 2024 Lexus NX350 F Sport. Let's start under the hood. What we have here is a 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, putting out 275 horsepower and 317 pound feet of torque. And that's paired with an eight speed automatic transmission with all wheel drive. Zero to 60 takes 6.6 .6 seconds. Fuel economy ratings are combined 24 miles per gallon. That's 21 in the city, 28 on the highway, and the capacity of the fuel tank is 14.5 gallons. At the front end, this is the signature Lexus spindle grill. It's bold and it's in your face and you definitely won't mistake it for anything else. It's evolved over the years and it becomes more and more aggressive every time it's updated. The spindle pattern is gloss black and there's a black trim piece going around the entire outline. The grill has just one massive intake since it runs all the way to the bottom. And I like the way that the hood kind of comes to a point at the end and has this crease going across. The headlights are full LED with three projector beams and an LED turn signal, and a very sharp LED daytime running light at the top. And that little square on the bumper under the headlight is the headlight washer. A little nozzle pops out of that and sprays washer fluid on the headlight. I'll be honest, I don't really see the point. I mean, LEDs are super bright and they can shine through dirt just fine. Using it also just sprays fluid everywhere and it kind of makes a mess. Anyway, some gloss black at the very bottom for some contrast and a neatly tucked LED fog light. The very bottom of the bumper has flat black and flat silver trim. Turning to the side, you'll find gloss black power folding mirrors with LED indicators and F-Sport badging on the fenders. The door handles are fixed and electronic and have a release button on the inside of the handle. The cladding on the wheel arches is paint matched to the rest of the car, which is nebula pearl gray and there's flat black along the bottom with mud guards behind each wheel. You'll also see these upward sloping body lines that we see on many other Lexus models, one at the top and one at the bottom. The window trim has a smoked gunmetal finish. Taking a look at the wheels, this is a black 20 inch 10 spoke aluminum alloy wheel that's exclusive to the F Sport model. The tires this is riding on are 23550 Bridgestone Alenza AS02 all season tires. Turning to the rear, the full LED taillights have a similar design to the previous generation, but with this included light bar running across the tailgate between the two lights. So I never get to show you what any of the car's lights look like at night, but you're in luck today. I happened to be next to one at a red light, so I pulled out my phone like a creep and took a video just to show you guys. You're welcome. Down below, the bumper is flat black with integrated reflectors and has a diffuser at the bottom surrounded by this flat silver trim piece. Opening up the power lift gate, off to the left you'll find a 12 volt outlet. This one comes with an optional first aid kit, these cool F-Sport floor mats with a red border to match the interior, and in the box are optional all-weather floor mats. There's an impressive amount of additional storage space here under the floor, and 46.9 cubic feet of space with the seats down. And a quick shout out to this video sponsor, FitCam X. FitCam X is a custom hardwired 4K dash cam that is made for your specific car's interior with no exposed wires showing. And it connects to your phone via the FitCam X app. And they're offering all my viewers 10% off everything on their site using promo code OPTICAL. Link in the description. If you're enjoying this review, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more weekly videos. Now the prior generation of Lexus vehicles was always criticized for being dated, especially when it came to technology. This certainly is not the case anymore. This interior is a place you'll be happy to spend lots of time in. Lexus has always been known for comfort and it's only gotten better. The door panels have a soft upper with this cool metallic trim piece and really soft red leatherette in the middle and on the armrest. On the side here, you'll find the electronic door release. You just push it in and the door opens. Now in the event that the electronics fail, which in a Lexus is unlikely but never impossible, it also works as a manual door handle. Just pull the lever twice like a normal door handle and the door will open so you don't end up trapped inside. Down below you'll find these beautiful aluminum pedals along with an aluminum F-Sport door sill plate. The seats are made of Lexus's perforated New Lux leatherette and looks and feels just like real leather. It's both red and black. The seats are heated and have F-Sport branding embossed into the headrest. The steering wheel is nicely bolstered and wrapped in perforated leather with red contrast stitching. The wheel has a nicely finished horn button with a matte Lexus badge and an F-Sport badge at the bottom. The wheel is power tilting and telescoping 
heated, and has silver paddle shifters on the back. The buttons on the wheel are touch sensitive and work with the head-up display. The controls on the left are for phone, audio, and voice command, and the controls to the right work the adaptive cruise control and other driver assist features. It also has a speedometer as well as traffic sign recognition. On the middle gauge display, there's these cool animations that play when switching between the different drive modes, which are Eco, Sport, and Sport Plus. The NX350 has a 9.8 inch infotainment touchscreen with a backup camera, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, AM FM Sirius XM radio, Bluetooth and USB audio, navigation, and Wi-Fi hotspot. Now even though the screen is decent, there's nothing wrong with it, I personally don't think luxury brands should be giving a smaller screen on vehicles that you have to pay more to upgrade from, but that's just my opinion. Safety features include lane tracing assist, pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, radar cruise control with curve speed management, lane departure alert with steering assist, intelligent high beams, intuitive parking assist with auto braking, and a blind spot monitor. This NX350 is equipped with a 10 speaker audio system. Let's take a quick listen. The center console has this gray metallic finish and chrome around the cup holders. The rest of it is gloss black around the shifter. This tiny little shifter works the transmission and in the front you'll find a USB-C, USB-A, a wireless charger and a 12 volt underneath. And there's soft padding on the side of the console to rest your knee on. Storage space is pretty good with a large deep felt line center console where you'll find this nice leather F-Sport key fob holder with red stitching. And the glove box is also felt lined and quite large. Up above is a sunglass holder and a standard size moonroof. The AC controls are built into the touchscreen with the exception of the two temperature knobs on the side. Luckily the controls on the screen are fixed and always there. Now I'm in the back seat. I'm six feet tall with the driver's seat adjusted for myself. Decent amount of room to spare. Down in the middle you'll find air vents, a 12 volt outlet, and two USB-A ports. The middle seat has a soft center armrest with two cup holders, and the door panel is soft just like the one up front. MSRP of this Lexus NX350 F Sport with all its options is $53,375. Big thank you to Lexus of Route 10 for letting me come out today to show you guys the NX350. They're located on Route 10 in Hanover Township, so stop by if you're in North Jersey or the New York City metro area. And when you get there, make sure you ask for Justin. Let me know your thoughts on the NX350 down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with a friend and subscribe. It'll really help the channel grow. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Let me know in the comments what vehicles you want to see on the channel next. And be sure to follow at Optical Automotive on TikTok and Instagram and check out the page on Facebook. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.